rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage, he says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer, or who might be listening. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. So how's it feel to be the village witch? Ah, <sighs> horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. Changing the subject. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so.
why'd you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charm. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The Cursed Isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. I've gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the Isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh -huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen, I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeyle once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided Rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine, along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the Elven Mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the Elves used them. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. 
Think of it as a magic box that talks. Are they hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fykyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lower. Any last words? What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured algories. 
said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries, lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse, and he's got hardened pustules all over him. Do we? You do. Well, let's go then. What are the horses? Hmm. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he, the pillar awaits. Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure twas the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know, but the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. Look for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them.
This way, I think. Sight, nowhere to be found. What princess? Flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. But I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Is it? Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, and augur I did. They're gone, 
the child remains. Mentioned a child? Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Hmm, Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps, or ashamed, or forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got.
Folk from the village come here often? Oh, when help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a-haunting, peace must be made. But they must then wait for Forefather's Eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead, drive the spirit off the Pella can. And if I needed, say, a love potion? Then to the witch you would be sent. Not a matter for the Pella, that. So long. Shut your window tight. What's the barrel like a new daughter? Got a few I can spare. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Must have had the wrong wolves. But Leland, that's who I feel for. Horrors of some sort took his wife, now her sister. Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it, or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful.
gonna hang your head from my saddle. Winds howling. You're gonna make me wait. Let's try Kira's lamp.
They're on to us. They'll not let Kraym in. Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble. They're on to us. They'll not let Kraym in. Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> We've no notion we's coming to tear him to shreds. Way's clear, lads. Adam! Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So up. Burn it! Ah. What? No. No, stay back! Don't leave me! Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shy. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the door. To the top! The place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on... Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Rich folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe? Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. 
I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing him's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for him. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! Start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head, but one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Still here, the noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? At the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. 
the Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I were hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich, believed we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. Before I later awoke, I was alone. It was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but... Who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham? No, he lives. I would know if he died. 
But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land. The base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest, should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge.
Why have you been following me? Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Didn't want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the Isle. Talks to no soul. Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. Hey, Paul! Hey, Paul! Oh! I want to talk. You're deaf, damn it! I told you. Who are you? I'm a Witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me seeing as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it, for Annabelle and me to flee. But it all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison, because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means, is she? You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses and rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time, but it can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing, and you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I'd have noticed she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But... What can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. There's a... Her bones? Yes. Give them here. And leave me be.
She's a pester, and now she's free. A girl in plated flowers. Looks like a small shrine. Just when I was starting to miss you. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm. I lifted the curse so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice. You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps, perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful.
Move it! wagon. and traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Leftovers, cuts of meat, catablepus. Wonder what spell requires that. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic okay. though. From an artery, I'll explain can't be this far. one. Wouldn't have made it.
Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns, but first I'll- Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you, but you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The cane is in castle. Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A Zugul cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about Zugul's. Now to return to the fairy tale. I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gonna transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Move it! Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances?
could have just told me what this was about, Rhino. <laughs> Geralt, run to the woods and fetch my shopping. I'd like to make dinner. Well, would you have helped? If I'd known I'd get a glass of Zubaran dry in return, of course. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cockogando there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I've two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or leave. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Didn't destroy that workshop if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands. Although, Fike Isle has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? Your fairy tale, your rules. Really? Then close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. Kira, wanna play hide and seek? Why not? A skirt? Guess we're playing hunt the hare, not hide and seek. Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. Hmm. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. Now where's that Cinderella gone to? Found me. Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. Call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no, it has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Eggvain Navi. Kira? Where? Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower.
So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. 
I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid doesn't forget, and Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me laughing. I'm going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. This is suicide, Kira. You'll wind up tied to a stake, burned to bolster the morals of the masses while entertaining them. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Care Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. So, see you at Karamoran? Bed's free of bed bugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt. Lightning strike. Shrieker. Aye, prowls about it does. Snatches cows and goats mostly, but it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Mm -hmm. Took a hatchet. Made an ambush for the Shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Gut stretched o'er the crown of a tree like gossamer. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put him in a grave. I know times are tough, but I'll need you to cough up a bit more coin. I 
suppose I can add that. You are risking your neck for us. High time a professional took a look at this shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. But you might find the lad hard to chat with. Still mourns his father, methinks. I see. Where'll I find him? At my homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago. Oswin, anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire, you blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage, he takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him, he'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Ah! They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Samara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For 
criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow, present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I 
sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up, and empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Look! Those Garrity? It'll bite us in the arse before we know it! Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell! What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck.
be something fierce. Can't hold it. Calm it somehow. <laughs> oh. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But- No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood.
Wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Show me something more. days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here.
me to take a closer look. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it, fiery marks on her eyes. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. Twere the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. <laughs> so here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. The 
Let's go. Halt! Stand in due! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I've knights in hand left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilbury's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah, I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. <laughs> Shut up and fight. No, I yield. Had enough? Yes, luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet, Go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Go, go. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelagost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear. How to reward one for their aid, this too the Pella knows. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. Seems like you could use a witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pell on you. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. 
Best do it tonight at midnight. How may I assist you? Need some armor. So long. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful.
Witcher, a word, please. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones. Called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Dea most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this... Damned villain. In this hole, this reesty mire, nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. No intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. I've done my part. You've got dozens of men. There's got to be someone you can send. You refuse to go? Mm-hmm. Fuck you! Yet, if you're ever in the area, by chance even, Take this, and just make sure she's all right. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. I thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. 
To hunt down a wild boar that size? Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kaer Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, Siri! Don't you embarrass us! Go on! Kick it! the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? <laughs> Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. 
Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero. Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? We'll play another time. <laughs>